Paris, AP, Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri is expected to return home next week for the first time since making a strange resignation announcement from Saudi Arabia that unleashed fears of a political crisis in Lebanon. Hariri and his family met Saturday with French President Emmanuel Macron, who invited the Lebanese leader to Paris to dispel fears that he was being held in Saudi Arabia against his will. Macron is seeking to calm tensions and avert a proxy conflict between Saudi-backed and Iranian-backed camps in Lebanon. Hariri's appearance in Paris, looking relaxed and posing with his wife and older son on the steps of the Elysee Palace with the French presidential couple in front of a large crowd of journalists, contrasted with his limited access, carefully choreographed appearances from Saudi Arabia. French President Emmanuel Macron, second left, and his wife Bridget, center left, Greet Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri, left, his wife Lara, center center, and their son Hussam, right, upon their arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. Hariri told Lebanese President Michel Aoun on Saturday that he will take part in Independence Day celebrations in Beirut on Wednesday, according to Macron's office. A French presidential official said Macron spoke Saturday with Aoun, who thanked France for its efforts to help Lebanon. The Independence Day ceremony is usually headed by the President, Prime Minister and Parliament Speaker and Hariri's presence could help calm uncertainties that have escalated since his strange and surprising resignation announcement November 4 from Saudi Arabia. However, Hariri's political status is murky. Lebanon's president refused to accept Hariri's resignation, accusing the Saudis of holding him against his will. Before leaving Riyadh, Hariri dismissed as rumors reports about his alleged detention in the kingdom. In a tweet, he insisted his stay in Saudi Arabia was to consult with officials there on the future of Lebanon and its relations with its Arab neighbors. In his televised resignation announcement, Hariri had cited Iran and Hezbollah for meddling in Arab countries, particularly Saudi Arabia. He also said he was afraid for his life. Saudi Arabia on Saturday asked its citizens for the second time in less than two weeks to leave Lebanon as soon as possible given the circumstances there. That raised fears of more punitive actions to come. The Arab League is due to hold a meeting on Sunday in Cairo at Saudi Arabia's urging where the Lebanon crisis and Iran's role in the region are expected to be discussed. Just before leaving Saudi Arabia, Hariri met with the Saudi Crown Prince and other senior officials, according to a member of Hariri's political party and two Lebanese television stations. Hariri landed before dawn Saturday at an airport used for private jets in Le Barget north of Paris, and came in a convoy to his Paris residence in a high-end neighborhood, where police stood guard. Hariri frequently stays in France thanks to decades-old family ties here. Hariri held private talks with Macron and then they were joined by Hariri's wife Lara Alazam and elder son Hussam and Macron's wife Bridget for lunch. His exact next steps are unclear. A French official said Saturday that France is offering Hariri the necessary support during this time of political turmoil in his country. The official was not authorized to be publicly named. Macron received Hariri with the honors due a prime minister, even though he has announced his resignation, since Lebanon hasn't yet recognized it. While Macron insists that he's not offering exile, Hariri's return could be complicated by Lebanon's internal tensions. It's part of a broader Macron strategy to reassert French influence in the region, while the United States under President Donald Trump is increasingly seen as unpredictable or disengaged. Macron's office says France's strategy is to talk to all powers in the region and not to appear as choosing a camp. Another issue might emerge with Hariri's arrival to France, dozens of French employees are suing in French courts his Saudi ogre construction firm, which has failed to pay them for months. The company owes them 14 million euros, 16.5 million dollars, an amount Hariri committed to pay after several meetings with French diplomats, but never did, according to the French Daily Liberation. Underscore underscore underscore. Rue reported from Beirut.
Angela Charlton and Patrick Hermanson in Paris contributed. French President Emmanuel Macron, centre-right, and his wife Bridget, right, greet Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri, second-left, his wife Lara, centre-left and their son Hussam upon their arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, centre-right, and his wife Bridget, right, greet Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri, second-left, his wife Lara, centre-left and their son Hussam upon their arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris. Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, centre-right, and his wife Bridget, right, greet Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri, second-left, his wife Lara, centre-left and their son Hussam upon their arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, right greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, right poses for photographers with Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri prior to their meeting at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Thibault Camus. French President Emmanuel Macron, left greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, right greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, right poses for photographers with Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri prior to their meeting at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Thibault Camus. French President Emmanuel Macron, right poses for photographers with Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri prior to their meeting L at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Thibault Camus. French President Emmanuel Macron, right greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, 
seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, left, greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA. French President Emmanuel Macron, left, greets Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri upon his arrival at the Elysee Palace in Paris, Saturday, November 18, 2017. Hariri arrived in France on Saturday from Saudi Arabia and may be back in Beirut next week, seeking to dispel fears that he had been held against his will and forced to resign by Saudi authorities, AP photo slash Christophe ENA.